let's go away from the UFO. This is where we just were. We did, I just played the uh, Vancouver Noise Fest. And is everybody else, you know, noise makers? Oh yeah, this is like every single act here did harsh noise. Yeah, yeah. What is this? Tell me what this is. Uh, uh, right here? This Everything. Is... Like, you look like you could launch a space shuttle from here. Actually, this was manufactured by uh, Bradley Telecom Corp, which uh -huh. is just uh, south of Cocoa Beach, and they were doing controls for, for spaceships. Really? Well, then I'm not too far off. What do you do with it? Um, I use it to make noise. Let's face it, I, I love Simon and Garfunkel. Um, I'm pretty down with Springsteen. <laughs> <laughs> I guess this is not going to sound like that, no, right? No, I reckon not. No, no okay. No, a, so can you play me something? more primordial. <laughs> just, I can turn this on at least. It's a super low level oscillation with a, an interval pulse function. It's got some white noise. Aside from the fact that I'm, I'm kind of speechless, I mean, there's no way you could write this down on a sheet of paper, right? Um, I suppose you could. I suppose you could. Yeah, I've noted settings that were awesome before. So it's like 4-4 four, four time or 3-4 mm. time? Uh, no, the time signature is super complex because I've got two oscillators that are running um, at two different rates. How the hell did you get into this? I was in my kitchen <laughs> with a bunch of other weird crap. I uh -huh. think the first thing I got was like a 15 buck reel to reel off the street. Um, um, oh yeah, first before that I started putting masking tape over the eraser head on my ghetto blaster so I could multi-track on my ghetto blaster. You know when you press record? Yeah. There's a, there's a little buffer ahead of your, oh, yeah. so it's erasing what was there before. Yeah, yeah. You put masking tape over that and it doesn't completely erase so you can layer. Oh. Um, and then I got this reel to reel and started doing uh, analog tape loop stuff. Okay. Um, about three years later, I went to Sun Yat Sen Garden. Yeah. I saw this band called, well, this band, called Hospital. <laughs> okay. Um, it was a brutal sonic assault. Uh, I just sat there watching people leave with a huge grin on my face, loving every second of all of the sound. And earplugs, of course, were available to the audience. I was going to say, so this sort of stuff was being played at Dr. Sun Yat Sen Gardens, yeah. those meditative, oh, quiet. Incredible contrast. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so everybody had earplugs, and people were looking at me. I don't think I had any hair at the time, so people could see my ears. And uh, they were like, you know, pointing at my ears, and I would just hold up my pack of earplugs. Yeah, I've got them. And uh, then I realized, oh, I can do what I'm doing in my kitchen right. for people. Yeah. Do you ever end up with anything that sounds what I would call more musical? Oh, of course. You yeah, do? You know, this can put out some, some, some beautiful, relaxed uh, tones. Yeah. And I did soundtrack work for uh, a video game for Xbox, and I oh, use this yeah. exclusively to generate most of the uh, sound effects and most of the, the musical tones that are used. So when you go on stage, and like you said, people turn up to mm. this. I mean, yeah. they don't, do they, they don't dance, do they? No, no, they we just always talk <laughs> about that. We always, we always wish, we always wish people would <laughs> Like start Schroeder. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> maybe, maybe a pit would be nice. But, uh, no, it never happens. No, usually, usually people are, are hands in their pockets, yeah. staring. Staring. Occasionally there's this sort of reverent, slow head nodding. Yeah. Uh, if you go to Plain Victoria. <laughs> <laughs> For me, I think this sound describes um, a bit of what you were saying earlier about the, the upper atmosphere, the, yeah. the, the solar system and the yeah. cosmos. I've often said it sounds like your spaceship's at light speed and you stick your head out the window. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so there's this... Uh, oh, I love that. 
sort of cosmic vastness and, and power and, and sort of the thrill of, of high energy. And um, another thing um, I liken it to is uh, the womb. So I, I see folks like uh, my brother's got uh, you know a second kid and yeah. I see him put on a little white noise generator and the kid goes to sleep and I'm, I'm optimistic that there's going to be a whole new generation of, of uh, people who want to make these sounds yeah. as adults uh, as a result of this. And um, to me, it just feels like this enveloping uh, uh, constant, like the whooshing of, of the, the circulation. You know, it's funny because it's funny you mentioned that. Um, I can't remember where I read it, but somebody once said, and it's very true for me, that the sound, that whooshing sound, especially when I'm on a beach, when I can hear the waves, mm -hmm. um, it tugs at your heart. It's so sort of, um, it's like a memory. It's yeah, almost yeah. like a, a, you know, an integral, you know, yeah, homo sapien memory. It's that, visceral. And it it sort is. Of, it plays to your, to your spine and your brain stem yeah. before, it, before it hits your... Uh, so play something that is close to that. <laughs> okay. must hate you, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> I'm respectful of the vocal bylaw. Are you? <laughs> that is unbelievable. Totally, totally unbelievable. It just kind of stabs me that, I've been, that I've been playing two shows a month for the last six or seven years. It's incredible. Yeah, yeah. I guess I'm not hip with an in-crowd. <laughs> <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> <laughs> There's an academic part of me that finds it quite fascinating, that it's quite, it's, it's uh, incredibly articulately intelligent, but you've got to understand it. It's not, I can't call it music. Do you call it music? It feels like music to me, but so does the traffic out there. Right. So does the, the sound of the beehive. <laughs> <laughs> and on that note, <laughs> thanks for letting me come into your house, man. Oh, no, no trouble. <laughs> green button and you want to pull those sliders up and then you've got all your, all your And up is that way? Yeah, yeah. So you, but you start with them down, right? Yeah, yeah. Or, or whatever. Yeah. So Otherwise it'll, it no, won't no, blow. No, no, nothing's going to blow. Okay. No, no, no. So I start with this green button. Yeah, yeah, hit that. No, no, press it hard. Oh. Um, and, and this is... What is it? It's a photo there. It's what? Do you touch it or do you just hold your hand over yeah, it? Yeah, over or touch it. Am I making that yeah, noise? Yeah. That's what I sound like in the morning in the bathroom. <laughs> That's kind of cool. I mean, if you find a particularly abrasive sound, you can hold it. Oh, I see. And then release it. Yeah. And what about the light thing? Uh, that's this, so... And this just has a different frequency? Yeah, and so these are photoreceptors. Okay, oh. How come it doesn't pulse like the light? Um... Oh. Okay, that's kind of cool. That's very, very cool. Really? So you just... Just hold down one of those white... Hold down that white button. Okay, how does the light work? Oh, there we go. That's 4-4 four, four time. <laughs> and what about the other one? This guy. That's really cool. Did I 
again? Sorry. Oops. Sorry. <laughs> there you go. Just push it down or Yeah, if you tap you tap it it'll go. The lights will go back on. Yeah, when people say I'm as musical as a brick, this would be kind of good here, wouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> well, there we go. That's Claire composing with a light, uh, a battery. Into the avant <laughs> 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 It's the nicest thing anybody's ever said about me. <laughs> That's cool. That's totally cool. Thank you. Again, thank you. Seriously. <laughs>